What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And we are Cars and Cameras, and it is 4th of July week. Our buddy Charles has the week off, so he is by helping us out on the cross cart. Our goal today is to have a runner. So no more bracing right now. We're not going to install a fan. All that stuff is going to happen later, but we just want a runner. We want to take it around the yard. Um, so we need to do pedals, wiring, weld up the rear end, brakes, shifter, and mount a seat on it and we should be good to go. We're using a gas and brake pedal kit from gopowersports.com today. Check it out at a link in the description and don't forget to enter their monthly in-store giveaway and let them know that we sent you. Let's do it. So right now the engine is mounted in two places. That's not good enough for us. We want to mount this engine in there tight. We want to use all four mounts. So we gotta add two tabs on the back and two bars in the front and tie this thing completely together. So two of the four motor mounts are done. Just need to find a bolt that fits a little better and we can weld it up. Go Power Sports hooked us up with all kinds of brake cables, brake calipers, brake rotors, and they're trying to make something work. How's it going? What's it looking like? Uh, I think the uh, brake line we have is a little on the short side, but we'll make it work. It'll be fine. Of course. Absolutely. Pull, if you need any more uh, slack. Oh, oof. Wow, that's not good. Yeah. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have to put yeah. two lines together today. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but um, mm -hmm. for testing yeah. purposes. <laughs> Absolutely, you got the right idea, my friend. All right, so for these front motor mounts, I need to go ahead and mount the exhaust first, and then I can figure out with flat bar how these are gonna roll. All three of us have been working on separate things and we are all three ready to weld. Ike is about to weld the bracket to mount the brake caliper. I'm ready to weld the front motor mounts and Charles is getting ready to weld the pedal mounts. Of course, we're not gonna be hitting all three. Either. Yeah. Charles stacked in the pedals for us. We're gonna wait on Ike for his big fat feet to make sure he fits uh, in the pedals. In the meantime, he had to run out of the store to grab some hardware. But in the meantime, we're gonna take the wiring harness off the Honda, put it on the cross cart. That's all we gotta remember. What up, Holly? Oh, it's perfect. Now they must still go further forward. I just, I'm stopped. It's, it's perfect. Perfect. It's perfect. Did a good job, Charles. Thanks, yes. Buddy. That was great, dude. Don't get the tape measure out, but it's okay. <laughs> you mean it'll be fine? Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so it's only tacked right now, just in case we had to make any changes. Huh. But uh, since you gave it your seal of approval, dude, we can send seal it. Seal of approval? I give it the stamp of approval, dude. <laughs> Go. So I just finished up welding the rest of the motor mounts and we still have a little bit of flex in the chassis, but we're not done with all our bracing and triangulating. Charles and Ike have been working on the brakes. What do we got, dude? Uh, basically got like, like a shift rod, but we have to make it pivot. So we had to shave a ball on the end so where it can go up and down in the piston in here. Well, that makes sense. Yep, because it's, can... it's, it's got to go up with yep. the throw. Yep. So Charles has shortened throw of our brake linkage, so that should work out better for us. And Ike is making a mount for our electronics. Yep. Right. 
Okay. Oh, it's moving, dude. It's moving the piston back here. Probably just got a little bit of air left in it. Got a leap. Yeah, it's coming right out of the top what? of the, uh, you watching? Oh. That's what I was afraid of. The threads, it wasn't going to hold. Charles just came up with a sweet solution. Robbing parts off of the old 750 frame. So we're just using the, just the factory parts. I don't know what you call them. Uh, we're, it led from the reservoir to the two front calipers. This one had dual calipers on the front, which worked out in our favor. Yep. So got the single line bolt on both sides. Maybe have to trim this, but it's going to solve our problem. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, no more leaks and we should be able to get brakes working tonight. Slow going, buddy. All I took was the essentials and that's the rectifier regulator, the, uh, the little ignition boxes, and man, I think that's it. Bolt them up and I'm making my own wiring harness. Everything's right here, so it's gonna be really short, really small, and all I have to do is run one power wire to the ignition switch and one ignition power back from the ignition ignition switch and that should be it. So we're having a hard time bleeding these brakes, probably because there's a giant air bubble, if we had to guess, right there. Um, so what, we're gonna do the whole power bleed thing tomorrow or something? Yeah. Vacuum, vacuum bleed. Vacuum bleed. Yep. So anyway, we don't have any of those tools. It's late. Um, wiring is, it's, yeah, just a ton of little things right it's a now. Mess. Yeah. <clears throat> but the seed's almost done, which you need to drill a couple holes for that. But uh, yeah, we're, we're getting close, I think, on everything. We're just getting hung up by little details. Yep. See y'all tomorrow. Good morning, guys. We worked all day on the cross car yesterday and our list really didn't get any smaller. We still need to finish up the pedals, the wiring, the seat is almost mounted. We need the shifter, brakes, and there's still a lot to weld up on this chassis. But we're just gonna keep it moving and see where we can get to by the end of our filming day today. I'm gonna go ahead and start by finally mounting the seat. Sit. Yeah. Oh yeah. How's my uh, clearance looking? Uh, it's looking pretty good. You're gonna still feel extreme heat. That just means go faster though, right? That'll just make you want to go faster. Sweet. One for each butt cheek. One for each cheek. I like it. Send it. <laughs> Dunzo. The deed is done. So our buddy Charles is coming back by and he's gonna bring a, a, a vacuum bleeder thing for the brakes. Yep, come on in. But uh, we're just giving a shot like this. What's up, man? Yep, we still have quite a bubble, man. Full release, four pumps. There's actually a little bit of something happening in that pedal now. So you got a little bit of, a little bit of resistance there? Okay, try it. We can probably still use the power bleeder, but I was like, oh man, there's going to be air right here. Yeah. And there oh, was man. a lot. What do we got? Nothing. So you feel still a pretty resistance? much nothing. I mean, like, there's more than there was, but it's still near zero. Your air bubbles? There's bubbles, there's a lot of bubbles back here. Oh. All right, close it. All right. Open it. Close it. Close. All right. Oh yeah, definitely shot further on the towel yeah. left. Yeah. So, yeah, closed. I'm gonna top her up. Did we get any air out on that last one? Uh, Check on that. Okay. All right. I think it's feeling pretty good. For for now, we're okay, but I 
think we ought to brace that master cylinder a little better. Yeah. So it doesn't flex so much. Yeah. I mean, because okay. check it out. It's it's flexing. Oh, wow. It actually yeah, it's moving. pretty bad, dude. I mean, <laughs> one, once I, before it was under like serious Dang pressure, it. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. Yeah. But now I'm looking at it and, and it'll help the pedal not be so spongy. Now that we're done for the brakes for now, Ike is back to the wiring and Charles and I are on to the clutch cable. We had to cut this old piece off the clutch linkage. It's still hot. And uh, we have this Go Power Sports heavy duty cable that we're gonna mount somewhere on the chassis there. And it's gonna go down there and we're gonna have a combination of that cable and probably hard line. So Charles brought us over um, some linkage from a, what, a Murray? Yeah, I think it was a Murray or some old go-kart that I took apart. So just say, some of the hard parts that uh, could be used on something else later yeah. on. Save us some time. So oh, thanks, yeah. dude. All right, and so we just need to figure out where we're gonna make that mate, the hard to the cable. So those guys are figuring out a cable mount back there. I uh, cut a piece of tubing, and we're gonna use it as a spacer to attach our pedal to our hard line. Yep. Okay, oh no, this is perfect. Sweet. Feels good. So we just need to uh, shorten. Yeah, maybe the, try the two two further holes. We'll try the yep. two further holes. Or do you want to try? Do you want to try? I'll just try one, one at a time. time. Nah, I say oh, both. Both. Okay. Both yeah. At a time. Yeah. We're, We're drilling three speed holes just for adjustment for our rod, and that's what another piece of brake linkage off a go kart or something. Yes. Sir. Okay. Cool. And so that's how it's going to mount back there, and it's a hard line Probably. up to the front to the original Ducati shifter before it got paddle shifters. And yeah, the shifter's gonna be mounted on the left. It's gonna be a little weird, but we're probably eventually gonna put paddle shifters on this thing. It'll be fine. We don't wanna deal with a jack shaft today anyway. I'm almost done with the wiring. I'm now working on the ignition switch bracket. Oh shoot, we got a suspect. I guess I didn't catch him last night. Leroy will have not died in vain. Second, third. Oh shoot, so fourth, it works. Fifth. Yep, there's fifth. Nice job, man. Now I just need to make some room around the seat and we'll make it more comfortable for the driver. It should be shifted. Sweet. No wobble. He's a genius. I just installed the battery. The wiring is done, dude. Yes. I'm gonna hit the key. Okay. Well, she's firing. Ain't yep. no fuel in the carburetor. Yep, no fuel, but sweet. Well, that's a good sign. You yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. We are so close to the first ride. The fuel tank is mounted. Charles is tightening up the axle. Uh, chain is on. We have more of the front suspension welded and Ike is gonna do the honors. No need for paper, rock, scissors. Try not to break it on the first ride. Oh, dude, okay. <laughs>
going to take it easy, no clutch dumps, and then like, second pull is a clutch dump. Dang, so I cool. just can't stop, dude. So cool. <laughs> it looks all right. It looks a little stiff. No, no? it's soaking up everything. Dude, honestly, the uh, the gearing is okay. The it seems gearing okay. Gearing is spot on, dude. That is awesome. Yeah, and it sounds awesome. We just got a tweak on the uh, the uh, 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 jetting, which I got an idea. Yep. Something I'm going to show you that I did back in the day. Yep. Yeah. But dude, oh, I think we're <coughs> man, all this dust leaking fuel. Where? Oh, out of the fuel we... tank. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Actually, out of the carburetor. Oh. Yep. Carburetor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Where? there's an angry spider in there too. Yeah. yeah. Out of the carburetor. Oh. Yeah. Did you? Oh my gosh! So what happened, John? It's fixed. Uh, it just bolts in the front end not tight, you know, no big deal. Bolt not long enough to hit the uh, the lock nut, but... It'll be fine. We're we got one it. one more lap and then we're going to fix it, right? All right. <laughs> No, I didn't. No. Yeah, so okay. Be careful with that. Yeah. But that was that was me not getting my foot over enough. Uh -huh. But like I hit the brake and I, I heard the motor rev up, but that's that was totally my fault, not the not the machine. Are so, you done? It kind of scared me. A little poop came out. What? Yeah. So other than like the was it fun? Oh, dude, say. this is a riot. Good. I definitely like not not to be a scaredy cat, but I mean since I run the mini cup and I'm used to the five point harness. I'm kind of missing that. Right You're now. feeling a little I'm, exposed. I'm feeling a little exposed, but that's okay. that's my honest opinion. I mean, yeah. All right. I dude. Yeah, John, don't I'm... get me don't get me wrong. I will definitely. We need another hoop over there. Yeah. yeah, we need to add a little bit more hoop. Yeah. Or a little bit more head clearance. Yep. Uh, it was fine when we were leaned way back. Yes. But I really didn't like how close we were to those headers. Those headers stuck out a little bit further than I like. So when we rocked it forward at just changed everything so it did yep. i'm thinking just a hoop right here yep and then and a then brace we can, we can brace it down uh uh in front of the headers yep and we can use that for the fan mount oh yep totally absolutely yeah well thank you for joining us on this video guys we got a ton done uh, all the little stuff that usually takes us a couple episodes we got done all in one thanks to our uh buddy charles here and we took a little bit of extra time because uh, we just wanted to get it going this time. But leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today, guys, and check out GoPowerSports.com for uh, some of the parts we used in this build. Uh, 
Cars and Cameras reviews on Facebook and Instagram to catch us in between episodes. Who knows, right now we could be at the drag strip. There's no telling. You can find it on Instagram though. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. Charles, you got one or not? Still incognito. Incognito but... Charles, my man. But anyway, we all got all kinds of stuff to finish up on it. A lot of welding, a lot of bracing. We got to figure out the front end, but uh, yeah, success today. This thing freaking rips. Also, the carburetors. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.